This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi guys, Sammy here. Welcome back to another video. And no, this is not clickbait. Uh, I really did sell my Exxon and F, um, but I got this one instead. This is the Leica Q P. Oh. Yo, wait, I, I need my camera back. Now. You need it now? Yeah, now, like, oh. yeah. Okay, sure. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. It's cool. yeah. Yeah, Have no, fun. No problem. Enjoy your camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now let me explain to you why I sold my X100F and uh, don't butcher me and I know it seems weird that I sell my, my camera that builds my whole channel and, uh, but I have my reasons. Now this video will not be as emotional as Andrew's video. Listen babe, this is hard, but I want you to know that it's not you, it's me. Because for me cameras are just tools and tools that I love, but I also know that cameras come and go. So I'm not like too attached to my cameras. So most of you guys know that I own the Ricoh GR and this was my main street camera back in the days before 2017. And then it broke, so I couldn't use it anymore. So I needed a new camera and at that time the X100F came out and it was like the camera that I always wanted but couldn't afford and I thought, you know, now's the time I should get it. Um, so I got it and I went to Japan. It was awesome. I did all my uh, POV videos in Japan. Uh, shout out to all my uh, original subscribers if you're still uh, here. But in 2019, uh, this camera came out, the Ricoh GR version 3. And uh, Ricoh gave it to me because I actually was a Ricoh GR ambassador and I still am, but I cheated with Fujifilm. And they're cool, they, they allow me to do that because um, for me, cameras are just tools and uh, there's always the right camera for the right job. Um, but still, of course, they wanted me to switch back to a Ricoh camera obviously uh, and I love this camera so much and just because this is so much more compact than the X100F um, this is the camera I, I brought with me whenever I went out and that's reason number one and reason number two is um, that 35 and 28 millimeter are like too similar too close to each other and I feel like there's no sense in bringing the X100F and the Ricoh GR you know and uh, maybe a 50 is better, you know, because when I look back on my uh, photographs from the recent uh, past two years, uh, my favorite shots were taken uh, 28 millimeter or 50. Um, and I know there's the TCL teleconverter, but it's just too, too heavy and too big. So I sold that one a long time ago. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to have something that shoots 50 or maybe 40. And then it makes more sense to have two cameras, you know. So that's reason number two. And reason number three is um, that I also need to have a camera that shoots video because I do YouTube. And I have a Canon M50 for that and I always bring it when I travel. But you don't want to bring three cameras to, to travel and shoot video and shoot photos. It's, it's too much. And then I have my action cams, my 360 cam. So I thought maybe I should go for the X-Pro2 because it's the closest thing for, uh, to the X100F. But the video is not like that great. And also I, I heard so much good stuff about the X-T2 because it has the bigger viewfinder. And I also have some manual glass and it would be nice to be able to focus manually. And I was actually about to place a bit on eBay for the X-T2 for a really good price. But I just couldn't do it. Somehow I wasn't really inspired by the camera. I, I thought I would buy it just because of the video capabilities, but maybe I wouldn't use it for street. And then I remembered there's one camera that I always really liked or I just loved how it looked, uh, but it was just too expensive and I forgot about it. And that camera is... This camera, the Fujifilm X-H1, 
And uh, yeah, so I bought this camera now. This replaces my X100F. And for me, it makes a lot of sense because uh, this is a very awesome video camera, but I think it's also a very good uh, photo camera. The grip feels really nice. And I also got this uh, manual lens, a 28 millimeter 1.4 from Camlan, which I think looks really dope on the X-H1. It's fully manual, um, but I actually like that. You know, the X100F, uh, you can shoot that fully manual, but it is focused by wire, you know? It just isn't fun to do zone focusing on the X100F, and I feel like I need the focus distance scale, and this one has it. And I also really enjoy just focusing manual with the viewfinder and focus peaking. Um, but the thing that attracted me the most to this camera is that I can actually switch to video mode and it remembers all my video functions. So I usually shoot uh, fifth hundreds of a second on the street for photos, or maybe a thousand. Um, but on video, I shoot a fiftieth of a second. So when I switch to video, all my video settings are there. It also has the new Fujifilm Eterna profile, which is really great for video. And it shoots F-Log as well. And I can still shoot across when I shoot photo. So for me, this, is, this replaces my X100F and my Canon M50, which I will probably sell. And first I thought maybe I would miss the, the flip out screen that I have on the M50 because then I can see myself. But I'm actually not that much of a vlogger type of person. I prefer to be behind the camera. And this one is so much more convenient because then I can you know, quickly take some B-roll shots. I don't need to see myself if I'm out doing run and gun shooting. Um, so for me, it's not a deal breaker to not have the flip out screen, you know? Another huge benefit uh, over the X-T2 is that this camera has IBIS, so in-camera, what is it again? In-camera body, in body, in body image, image stabilization. Yeah, exactly. And that is so nice, especially for video, of course, um, because my manual lenses like this one, they don't have stabilization, uh, but I can set the focal length inside the camera and it will stabilize. And it looks like I'm using a gimbal. It's that smooth. You know, I also don't need any accessories, like no uh, thumb grip. I cannot even put a um, soft shutter button. So uh, yeah, I like that this camera is just, you know, simple and I don't need to... I don't mind that this camera is bigger than the X100F. I mean, this is like almost DSLR size, but you know, you're not invisible on the street with the X100F. I don't believe that anymore because you can shoot this camera like you can shoot the Ricoh GR. It all depends on how you move on the street. Just own the fact that you are doing street photography. You don't have to hide, you know. It's, it's way more creepy when you, you hide and uh, you don't want to be seen. You know, just have your camera uh, around your neck and, you know, be a street photographer. There's nothing bad about it. Um, the moment someone sees you and you are like, oh shit, he saw me, then, you know, it, it, it shines like a bad light onto the street photography. So just go out with any camera you have and doesn't matter if it's, you know, big like this one. And by the way, I'm in Fukuoka city to meet a long-term subscriber. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex. <laughs> so this is Alex and he is actually, I think, one of the first subscribers or maybe some of the first person who commented on my video. Yes, yeah, so how did you to find my channel? Well, I think we got the X100F around the same time. Yeah. So yeah. I was just looking for videos about the X100F. Mm. I had already made my decision, but I just wanted to learn more about the camera. Mm. And then I found your channel and, and I got really into your channel, first off, because it's really professional, really well edited, very well made. And then <laughs> also, I was kind of also annoyed that you don't have so many subscribers and you didn't have so many viewers. I'm like, this guy's great. What's going on? Like, this guy should be famous already. And so I just, I wanted to make sure I was supportive of your channel and you because uh, I could obviously see that you were going to grow and you're going to be big. And um, yeah, and the content is always just great. So. You were actually very nice in your comments, yeah. like supportive. And then you also started your own channel to do POV videos, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I, I do my own POV videos here in Fukuoka and other cities in Japan when I go, when I go back home to America. Uh, I'm not as active as, as I would like to be uh, because I have a little boy, but I'm trying to, every chance I get, I try to go out and I try to shoot some videos and, take, and do street photography. Yeah. But where's your X100F? <laughs> oh, I don't have it with me today, but I did not sell it. I still have it. 
<laughs> a uh, good boy. <laughs> yeah. And today we are actually going to do a POV video together. So he's going to shoot on his GoPro and I'm going to shoot on the X-H1, which I'm now using for video. Um, yeah, it will be the first time for me to shoot 40 millimeter on the street, which is interesting. And uh, what can I expect from Fukuoka in terms of street photography? Well, I think if you were to compare it to Tokyo, Tokyo to me is like easy mode. This mm -hmm. Tokyo, you can, you can uh, make a frame or you can have your framing and your composition so much easier, I think, mm -hmm. because it's way more congested and there's way more buildings and there's way more um, interesting things packed into one small area. Yeah. Whereas uh, Fukuoka, you have to really look for look for your uh, your spot, your composition, your framing. Uh, mm -hmm. Look for the good location, look for the good spot, and and sit and wait and be patient, and then you you can find some magic, definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> So what is our first spot? Uh, Shintensho, or the front of uh, Tenjin Station. It's really good because right now it's a Yamakasa festival, so there's a lot of booths out here. So it's got a festival, a little bit of a festival vibe going on. Oh, and they're doing it right now. Oh. <laughs> if you're a man butt aficionado, this is the spot to be. <laughs> Yeah, this is like a this is like a practice or like a mini a mini part of the, the greater festival. Like the real festival is like super a.m. in the morning, like 6 a.m. and they run through the entire city. Um, but this is like a just kind of it's like a it's like a warm up round. <laughs> what what timing is the like amazing perfect timing? <laughs> this will be my street portrait challenge. One of these guys. Yeah, well, that's a little taste of it. Now, usually what they do is they race through the streets at a, with a much bigger version. With actually, with that. So, and tons of, tons of men. And so, who's participating in the festival, these people are people that actually live in this area. And they represent this area, so they're conscripted or they're they're pressured into doing it. Some do it. Damn, so I wasn't prepared. I was <laughs> like, quick, get the camera and shoot. Did you get any good pictures? Yeah, or? I got some yeah? good pictures. Nice. So good. Yeah, we will show it here if, if they're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only if they're good. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our little Shibuya crossing. Very little. Very little. There's a lot of fashion shops here. So are you mainly looking for interesting characters? Yes, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Usually okay. very interesting people. Character situations. Cart people. Well, pushing the cart, obviously. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so tired, it's so played out, isn't it? Yeah. But it's so easy to do, like right now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
大丈夫ですかありがとうあ、めっちゃいい写真いい写真ありがとう And do people know you here? Are you famous for taking street photos? Maybe some of the shop owners, yeah, they see me coming around Oh wait, this is kind of nice Sometimes it's fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they, they divide the frame. Yeah, yeah. Now it's I give up. Did you give up? Yeah. Yeah. I want to see this little spot over here actually, this Coca Cola. Oh, okay. Then I stay here. <laughs> Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah, really nice. I like that one. Yeah, and then they got closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and, closer and gone. Oh, that's oh. my and that's my boy, <laughs> and that's my son. Nice. <laughs> If there was a more shadow, it would be really great. It's still good though. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Very cool. Nice, nice, nice. I cook meat there. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Nice. He was just ready to go, right? Yeah. That's what happens here in Daimyo. You just have your camera out and you're just taking a picture of some somebody comes in and like they're all dressed nice and you're just like, all right, this is what I, this is what I came out for. <laughs> this is why I'm here. Like this is. Look at me. <laughs> Question: When you go out and do street photography and people yeah. want to talk to you, are you? Are you a recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> are you gonna speak Japanese or you speak English? In in Japan? Yeah. When when you're doing street photography and then, uh, I, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get good composition with this guy. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so I switched back to my Ricoh GR3 because 40 mm is so hard to shoot. <laughs> it's so different. With uh, 28, I can layer, and with 40, it's like everything is one-dimensional. It's it's super hard. So I'm going for my GR now, but maybe I switch back to the 40 later. Relaxing. Oh, yeah, yeah. For relaxing times. Make it crack okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel lonely in Japan? I feel... Uh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> this is getting dark. That sounded so this real. It's getting really dark. <laughs> but yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> See, that's the kind of thing that that camera is really great at, at right? Enjoy life in your pants. It's kind of like they're just kind of just a bunch of shadows. Can't really tell that they're leaves. They're not really lit well right here. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, right in here. 
right in this building. Canal City is a big mall. Where are we going next? Next we're gonna get something to eat and drink. And I don't have anything funny to say right now, sorry. <laughs> yeah. There's a roof oh there's a rooftop view. Yeah. It's, 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 it would be good B roll. Oh yeah, okay. When do we see a new video on, on your channel? Uh <laughs> As soon as you upload this video. Ah, okay. Ah, you will also post a video about today. I will post a video for today okay. as a uh, another secondary video or behind the scenes kind of side I of video. I see, to get some more uh, subscribers and views. That's right. <laughs> All right. Bang, bang, boom, bang. What is your channel's name? Alex. Oh, okay. My channel's name is Alex uh, on Streets. Alex on Streets. And that's my Instagram as well, alex.on.streets. Check me out. <laughs> or die. <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolates <laughs> that I ate. I ate them all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Keep your friends close <laughs> and your enemies really far away. <laughs> Izakayas are a place where you take a girl you don't really care about. What do you do about the people or the girls you care about? Izakayas. <laughs> <laughs> Potato fry. Potato, fried potatoes, deep fried shrimp, ebi no tempura? I don't know. It's not very fast. <laughs> if this breaks badly, then I'm on a streak of like more than 10 bad breaks in a row. See? What am I doing wrong? It's like we planned this. Right, I'm gonna get one more. Oh, there we go. The tip is you uh, you break it from the bottom more. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was our Fukuoka uh, POV day. How was it? Yeah, it was fun, man. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks yeah, thanks for, coming for showing me uh, Fukuoka because yeah. I think I saw all the important yeah, parts. Mostly. And it's really beautiful. So if you thanks. have never been to Fukuoka, you definitely have to check it out. Check it out. And you also have to check out his channel or yes. follow you on Instagram. Maybe yes, you want to yes, give yes. a shout out um, again. <laughs> on YouTube, Alex on Streets, and uh, on Instagram, Alex on Streets. Alex dot on dot streets. In case you didn't realize, he is on the street. I'm on the street. Because he does do street photography. My name is. But Alex. you also do. I do portraits. Portraits. Well. Alex yeah. dot photo dot Fukuoka. All right. Okay. So yeah. follow him, and uh, yeah, I guess see you in the next video. Peace. Bye bye. <laughs> so before I leave you and you have to wait another three to four weeks for the next video, uh, I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare has been a big supporter of my channel and I'm very grateful for that. And also I'm very cautious about the products and brands I promote here on my channel because the most important thing is that it fits my channel and also my audience. And Skillshare is definitely something that I can recommend, especially if you have your own business, for example, and you don't want to hire any professionals. And there's a lot that you can do on your own. Uh, that's what I do. So if there's something that I don't know and I don't know how to do it, um, Skillshare can help with that. So let's run the sponsor bit and I see you after that. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Everything you want to learn from photography or creative writing, uh, marketing, productivity, how to design a website and much more 
The premium membership gives you unlimited access to all the high quality classes from experts working in their fields. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable and annual subscription is less than $10 a month. There are a lot of photography classes I could talk about, but I want to specifically highlight this class here from Dan Dan Liu, a Chinese documentary filmmaker and cinematographer. And her class is very comprehensive with more than 50 video lessons. And I really like that she focuses here on giving your videos a soul. And this is what I always try to achieve in my YouTube videos, because there's a lot that you can use to better your storytelling skills. So I think everyone who is into video or filmmaking should definitely check out this class. Now if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link in the description box that gives you two months of Skillshare Premium for free. Alright, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video.